Hello everyone, welcome back to Wong Village and today is a bit of a different video where I just ramble on how I used uh, generative AI from Photoshop to help achieve some of the effects of some recent videos that we've produced in the past uh, in this summer and I think this may be the last video that we uh, have been able to produce this summer and hopefully more will come when uh, time allows. So as I speak you will see some of the scenes mainly from uh, the Royal Engine scene remake as well as the Hero of the Rails uh, scene remake where I relied heavily on uh, generative AI from Photoshop in some of the scenes to achieve the effect. So in the Royal Engine uh, I kind of used the um, create, use the generative AI from Photoshop to generate some matte painting to overlay onto the moving clips to uh, create the illusion that my sets are uh, uh, firstly much bigger and secondly it's based in London by uh, photoshopping the uh, real photos that I took while I was in London uh, of the Battersea Power Station and uh, compositing in with some Photoshop skills as well as generative AI to uh, merge them, blend them and create some surroundings, some backgrounds to match with the physical sets and as well as the matte painting. So um, this is one of the ways I've used it and uh, in the Hero of the Rails you can see I've used it to clean away some of the parts of the Patra Hero and then overlay some parts uh, onto it once again digitally so I can modify it and make Hero break his parts during the chase. So uh, here are some of the samples of how it would look with and without generative AI and some of it uh, will showcase what the different layers of it uh, looks like. And uh, obviously I forgot to uh, record my workflow in Photoshop so uh, it's not really a step-by-step -step demonstration but it's just to showcase what I used and how generative AI could be used to help you and me generate uh, some uh, advancement and to overlay onto videos to make it much more uh, immersive. And I understand that uh, some of you may have the views of that generative AI may have uh, 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 negative uh, effects on some artists including uh, using the work as uh, the library for generative AI or maybe taking away jobs of some but uh, to me objectively I really think this techno uh, technological advancement is really really useful for me to save time and uh, objectively it's a really useful tool to help me do things that previously I cannot with my videos so um, I hope this video is useful and finds interesting and you can see how I've used some digital effects to help improve my videos in, uh, in, in, th in this summer and I hope you all enjoy this kind of different videos and so um, until next time thanks for watching